Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now in this video we shall be discussing easy manipulation on whether or not it's still worth it to do it in top 11. But before we get into that, if you've not yet subscribed, please help me and subscribe to the channel as that helps the channel grow. And if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up as that helps with the algorithm. Now I ran a poll yesterday about easy manipulation. So for those who don't know what this is, this is where you intentionally reduce your team percentage at the end of the season by selling your non-key players in order to go up against lower ranked teams. These non-key positions are the MCs and the DL or the DL. However, if you have untrained players in your key positions, then those ones will also be taken out when you are doing easy manipulation at the end of the season. But now it seems Nodias has done something about this. The draws have become significantly harder and some people have actually complained about being kicked out of the cup. Someone actually left my discord server three days ago because he was kicked out of the cup. Now from the experience I've had this season I've come to a conclusion that easy manipulation is not going to work if you're relying on it alone. So there are two ways to make it work now. One is power training and second one is quality targeting. So the first thing power training is pretty simple. You're going to save up rest packs so that you can train up different players with high white skills and low gray skills. This helps with easy manipulation because you get a very high quality player and this significantly boosts the power of your team without having to boost your quality. And if you add easy manipulation onto this, for example, you get six star MCs and you have trained a decent player within the same time period, your team percentage is still going to boost higher than the people who you have been put with. The second way in which easy manipulation is still possible is through quality positioning. Now the entire concept is that you're going to look towards being grouped among the active and competitive players of the game. Yes, so basically when you're doing easy manipulation, you make sure you land into one of these two zones. Either 75% to 80% that is the best zone to land in or 95% to 100%. If you're able to easy manipulate your team into these different ranges at the beginning of the season, even with the current Nodias change to the draws, you will still be matched against people within those two. So in short, you're predator hunting down weaker players with this strategy. Personally, I did it, I was targeting the 75 to 80 bracket because that is the best zone to be in. Let me tell you why. If you're replaced with these players after easy manipulation, your team percentage can easily skyrocket to about 110%. This also makes the event significantly easier. And also, in case you do this properly on Friday, you can actually get a very easy association matchup. So this is basically easy manipulation max pro. <laughs> uh, so even with the less effectiveness of easy manipulation, it is still great for events. Like you can actually use easy manipulation every association weekend and get away with it. Like honestly, I have a very crazy plan to become world number one association within the next three seasons. I'm actually now hiring top 11 mercenaries. So if you know you're so good at top 11, I need you in my association we're going to take over the world. So currently my association has made it to ultimate division, but I have two guys with times two multiplier. So we're just going to try to avoid being relegated, but I'm pretty sure within the next three seasons, once I finish building this team and we have done a few transfers in, I'm coming for number one. Away from top 11 things. Now I have not been uploading of late. Last upload was a week ago and uh, this is because sometimes the game just refuses and I feel like uploading three days ago and I didn't have the morale to do it but um, I've been playing a lot of mobile legends and, uh, and I think I may be losing interest in top 11. I need people to play mobile legends with. Um, drop your game codes, I'm going to add you and we shall play some squads together. Then lastly, I've noticed a pattern of American interest in top 11. Like ever since 2K took over Nodias, um, with this guy Landon Donovan, he's like one of the greatest players of the MLS. And now with this Major 5 challenge, you can tell, you know, there is something happening in the background. But still somehow Nodias doesn't listen to the community, or doesn't listen to me. 
because I've sent like 13 emails over the past 10 months and uh, still no reply. But I'm hoping, you know, things can change there. Anyway, it has been the UG Witch Doctor. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you after the event. Peace.